Hey guys, in this video I am going to show you how to make a interactive chart and this is an example of it and we have a data set here we have a chart that is linked to this data set and we have a bar here and my scroll bar is linked to my target line this line and as I go up my target line is also increasing and as it increasing the column that doesn't match to my target line turns to red so let's do this now and we have a sales column here we have met targets and we have scroll bar counter as well first of all let's set a target here I'm going to put it 100 and first of all we need to make the if the sales met the target or not and to do that I'm going to write a formula here I will say that if the sales is greater or equal to my target and I need to lock this cell and if you are using Microsoft you can press just F4 to do that it's a shortcut of it and if this is the case I'm going to return the sales amount otherwise I'm going to return none this is how we do it and then I am going to close the bracket and then press enter so this is my result and I'm going to go and apply the formula we have written here to other cells this is how we do it right so now I have a data set I'm going to select my data and then I will go insert and then I'm going to go recommended charts from there I'm going to choose clustered column this one and I select it okay this is my chart right I have a very nice chart here so we have a chart I'm going to change the target line to 50 because I would like to see more uh, orange column if we go to select the chart and make a right click and go format chart area and you'll see that this page will appear and from here we can make some changes on our columns I'm going to change the color of my column that represents map targets I'm going to make it solid fill and I'm going to choose it green one and for the other one that represent my sales I choose the column when you choose just one of them it selects all of them when you choose one of them and make a solid fill and I'm going to change the color of it to red so I have two columns now right now I am going to insert a target column here and to do that I click on my chart and then go to chart design and from there I'm going to go and select data this one and here I need to add another series I'm going to press on add for the name I am going to select this cell and go and select my target and then press enter and then for the values I am going to go and select my target value and then I will press enter and you see that we have a target series as well when you are done then say ok our target line now we are going to go when you select this and then go to change chart type and then go to XY scatter and select the scatter and as you can see my gray column turned into small circle now I am going to go element 
make sure that you are on the chart design section add elements and then error bars from there I will go more error bars options in here I'm going to choose the horizontal line right and then I'm going to go and select error bars options I'm going to set it to plus then I'm going to change the fixed value to 11 so and I would like to change the color of my uh, line as well I'm going to go fill and line and I'm going to make a solid line I will set it to yellow is fine I just want I just want to make it visible I will increase the width let's change the dash type you can do anything you want so this is more visible so this is our target line right we have it now and here another thing I am going to do is that I would like to overlap this column with this one and to do that choose the right column which is our met target column and then go to series options and here we are going to make series overlap to 100 you see the change right now we would like to insert a scroll bar we are going to go developer section and then we are going to insert the scroll bar and click anywhere in your Excel sheet and I'm going to play with its shape I'm going to make it vertical let me make it elegant you can do that as well so this is my scroll bar and now I am going to go and make a right click and go to format control this is the uh, properties of my object go to control section I'm going to set the current value to 1 I'm going to make the minimum value 1 maximum value 100 I'm going to increase it by 1 make the page change 1 and finally I am going to go and select the target cell and then press enter and then say ok So let's play with our scroll bar now. If you go down with your scroll bar, you see that your target line is increasing. Right? As you increase, the column that doesn't match to my target line turns to red color, right? So the thing is here is that when I am going up my target line is going down I would like to make it opposite I mean when I am going up I want this target line is also to go up and when I am going down I want this target line to go down as well and to do that we need to make a right click on our scroll bar and format control So here I'm going to make the current value to 1 and maximum value 10, ok. Only thing I am going to change here is that the cell link. I am going to go and choose scroll bar counter uh, the cell under this one, this one, right. And then I am going to press enter and then say ok. okay now my bar is linked to this one however it doesn't do with my target line and I am going to go and now we need to make we need to write some kind of formula here we are going to say that equal 100 minus this cell 
Why we are putting 100 is that because in the sales section, the maximum value is 100, right? That's why I put this to 100. And then I uh, minus 100 minus F2. And then I will press enter. Let's see it now. If I go down, my target line is also going down. Did you see that? Let's go a little bit more. So you see that as a column, as the columns met my target line, the color turned to green from red color, right? So this is the interactive chart. I hope you liked the video, you enjoyed the video. I hope you managed to do that and good luck. See you. Bye-bye.